Masks Singer fans, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and it is week number three of the Mask Singer, episode three of season 11. And as we're continuing this format, we're not seeing group A, we're not seeing group B, instead, we're seeing group C. Remember, they changed the format for this year while at the same time still having the same format? If you kind of catch what I'm saying there, last year they did them as group A three times in a row, then group B for three times, then group C for three times with one ding dong leave it on bell. Then we have the quarterfinals and so on and so forth to the finale. For this season, they're sort of doing it the same way, but instead of having the groups together, they split them up, which is kind of nice because then you don't see the same characters for three weeks in a row. One thing a lot of people complained about last year is that you would see some of these people and you would see them like say week three and then you don't see them again until like week nine and people are like i forgot that that costume even existed so this change is kind of nice all that being said we do have a brand new trailer talking about all the new costumes and one of them gives me kind of nightmares let's talk about that and more so uh let's actually watch the trailer here we go people agree this season the mask singer cranked it up to 11. And Fox Wednesday starts the fire. We're toasting Billy Joel. It's a night of greatest hits oh, with four know. new mystery superstars. All you other singers better watch out. I'm scared. Plus performances you have to hear to believe. Only the good die young. Oh my God, he sounds like Billy Joel. Go. The Masked Singer is all new. So, first, I don't know if you caught that. A couple costumes in there that we now have names for and actual photos to see what they look like. First is the Poodle Moth. Didn't know there was a name of a moth, did you? I had no idea. We had Lizard, which we already saw. Clock, which I thought maybe we were gonna get like a grander name because looking at the clock, I mean, that's like a 1600 style clock. Like it reminds me of the clock from Beauty and the Beast. So I was waiting for like, like a really, really cool name. But just clock? Let's get a little more creative, Fox. You just put that out there. And then the one costume that is funny because in the past month, we've all seen this costume and we only saw like one photo and it was kind of blurry and we all said, oh, it looks like, you know, maybe some kind of like dentist or some kind of spooky, scary doctor with a big mustache on it. It's spaghetti and meatballs. Its eyes are meatballs. Its face is a mustache that's made out of spaghetti? I must have had a nightmare about this once before. Being an Italian boy here, man. I look at this and I go, what, 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 what? That's a night, I think someone on the Masked Singer design team had a nightmare about spaghetti and meatballs and then drew it out and then made it into a costume. The funny thing though, I still like this costume a lot. It almost looks like a, scientist like a like a like a doctor or some sort that had a bowl of spaghetti next to him while he was doing an experiment and uh naturally he just had a regular curly mustache and the spaghetti somehow transformed and then took over his body and that's why that happened like we need a background story of this character right like we get we could probably do a, a movie about this guy you know like how the hulk became the hulk you know, that's that's what I'm thinking about here for spaghetti and meatballs. I know, I'm going off a deep end, but this costume, I can't tell if it scares me more or if it's just that goofy of a costume. I need more information. Marina, I believe, is the one that made this costume. So uh, you need an explanation? Where, where, did this, where, where did this come from? Am I right? Anyway, that is everything we know. I know you're going to say, what about the pitch correct audio in that clip? But that was not a good audio to use that for. Uh, mostly because that wasn't pitched up and sped up. They use a different kind of uh, plug-in to get that audio, and that one's never good to try to pitch correct. So we're not even going to try to do that. But let me know what you think about this episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know a lot of you guys don't know Billy Joel songs as much, but, uh, I mean, I worked for a classic rock radio station, so of course I know Billy Joel. Billy Joel is right on my board. Where is he at? You know, he's probably behind this thing. I think he's right over here. He is. You can't really see him, but Billy Joel is right over there in my uh, wall of albums. 
right? Yeah. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. And as a reminder, we did a reveal last Friday for the starfish, the beads, and the other ones. Well, it's every Friday. And um, if you haven't checked those ones out, please go ahead. I'll put the link in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.